Kevin with softwaremedia.com and today I'm going to be walking you through a beginner tutorial using the new Corel Painter 11 software. Um, today I'm going to be um, basically walking you through uh, cloning a portrait photograph like the one I have here of Angelina Jolie. Uh, we're going to be using uh, some of the clone brushes and um, some different creative brushing techniques to get a uh, pretty cool looking rendition of this photograph using some of our uh, oil painting techniques. So um, let's get started. Okay, once you have your photo open in Painter, uh, the first thing you want to do is create a clone of your photo. So if you go under File, you go under Quick Clone. It uh, creates a new canvas here for you with a uh, tracing overlay of your photo. You go up to this little button here, that'll turn your tracing on and off. And you can see we have a uh, blank white canvas over here. Now that we have our um, new canvas open, we want to uh, set our paper we're going to be working with today. Um, we'll set it at Artist Canvas. Looks good. And then what we want to do is um, fill in our white camera with some uh, background, basically a solid background color from our photo. So I'll just play around in the background here until I get a color that I like. And then we'll toggle back to our new canvas, use the paint bucket tool, and just fill it in. So that looks pretty good. Okay, um, so ahead of time I went ahead and created a uh, custom brush. It's under the uh, artist brushers here. Um, I called it the Grainy Sargent. It's a variation of the standard Sargent brush here. Um, so if you want to create your own brushes, you can bring up um, any brush that you'd like and then use this um, little fly out uh, arrow here and just click on show brush creator. That'll bring up a whole dialog box here with um, pretty much every single option that you can modify to create an unlimited number of brushes. So, so then you can go ahead and exit your brush type here and once you create a new brush you want to make sure you save it under the save variant tool right here. Now we're uh, ready to uh, get painting. Right off the bat I want to use a pretty large um, brush size here. I set it right around 35. So once that gets gets done, I can start um, making some strokes here on my canvas. Um, for every new brush that I use, I like to start a new layer just by hitting the new layer button right over here. That lets you uh, pretty much reverse any uh, changes you've made and you can go back to your original um, layer very, very easily. So kind of what I'm doing here is just setting up some background color information using this wide brush. I want to use um, some different uh, stroke directions and patterns and you can see the brush kind of just picks up underlying color from our photo but you can't really tell what's going on. It's just more the color information. So I'll get this set up and then I'm gonna go ahead and switch to another brush uh, once I get my canvas filled in here. Okay, now that you've um, got some underlying color information on the canvas here using your Sargent cloned brush, uh, what you want to do is go up to um, the artist oil brush and we'll switch to um, the bristle brush here. So uh, we'll also switch up to a new layer and I'll turn on my uh, transparency so we can see what we're doing. Uh, the basic goal with this brush is to just um, work in the edges of your photo and get some rough detail drawn in here that'll help um, kind of bring out um, the main details of your portrait. So I'm going to go ahead and work on this for a little bit and I'll check with in with you in a few minutes and you're going to be able to see here I'll just be toggling back and forth with my transparency uh, to my regular photo just to uh, see how we're looking here. Okay, as you can uh, see here, I'm just kind of finishing up with my size 10 Artist Oils Bristle Brush and you can see that um, we're starting to get some little better detail uh, worked in. We have uh, a lot of our edges defined now and started bringing some um, texture to our background. 
uh, I can toggle off our original layer so you can see exactly um, the paint strokes that I've made in this recent layer. You see uh, the brush is just kind of following the contour of the face here. So now the next step is um, just add in some more detail to your photo so you can zoom in here. What I'll do is I'll toggle uh, my tracing paper back on here. I'll uh, bump my brush size down. I'll set it right around five or so. So again, uh, I want to start a new layer and we'll just uh, start going to town here. You uh, can see me um, working in some details and I'll check back with you in a few moments again. What I've done uh, with this last uh, size 5 brush is just add some more uh, detail to the main features of the face. Um, toggle on uh, and off my layer here so you can see this is where we were last time and after the 5 brush uh, definitely brought in some detail here. So here's all the brush strokes that I made specifically with the size 5 brush. So I'll turn on uh, a couple of these other layers. You can kind of see how the portrait's going together here. Uh, what I'm going to do for my next step is switch down to a slightly smaller brush. I'll jump down to about a th size 3. And that'll allow me to uh, go into a little bit more detail on some of our areas of importance here. So again, I'll create a new layer. And I'll just uh, start going to work. finished up here with uh, my size 3 Artist Oils Bristle Brush. Basically just went around and smoothed things out a little bit, brought in some more detail. Uh, definitely worked on the hair here in a portrait quite a bit. Um, if I toggle off uh, my size 3 brush layer, you can see exactly what we've done. Definitely kind of defined everything and uh, added some texture to the hair. If I turn off all my other layers here, we can see exactly uh, the brush strokes that I did with this size 3 brush. You can see I kind of worked on the interface between the face and the hair and kind of defined the edges of the face a little more, kind of smooth things out uh, in the cheek region as well. All right, so our next step is to uh, switch brushes once again. We'll go over here to the um, oil category and then we'll select the thick wet oils uh, size 10. Yeah, we'll knock it down to a size 2. All right, and what we want to do uh, with this tiny little brush here is uh, just add a little bit um, more of a fine detail. So I went ahead and uh, created a new layer and I'm just going to go through here again and just kind of uh, work everything in. Well, I just finished up with my very small uh, size 2 thick wet oil brush. And as you can see, it just helped uh, smooth everything out. Kind of gives your painting a nice finished feel to it. Uh, if I toggle my last layer on and off, you can see um, this was before. And then after using this brush, just kind of smooth everything out. And if we toggle off all of our layers here, we can see added a lot of smoothing smoothing to the, the cheeks and the jaw outline. Definitely worked on the eyes some more and uh, just smoothed out certain portions of the hair here. And we'll kind of recreate uh, exactly what we did here. So started with the uh, nice wide 30 brush from there. Uh, we went to a uh, size 10 uh, brush to... Uh, Kind of define our edges and give it uh, some character here. Then we refined it a little bit more with our size 5 brush. Then we jump down to the size 3 brush. And then finally uh, the size 2 uh, thick wet uh, brush, which just kind of smooths everything out. So there we go. There's our uh, portrait and kind of an introduction to using different brushes in uh, Corel Painter 11. Again, this is Kevin with SoftwareMedia.com. Thanks for listening.